For this event, as you all probably know, we've had two break-ins, which has been devastating. But you know, something always something comes good out of devastation, and this has been a good, I'm going to say, event. Uh, we've had a lot of response with the community and also outside the community and even internationally that people support this museum. And I want to thank you all for coming as the motorcycle goes by. Thank you all for coming and being with us. One let you know, it gets kind of nippy. There is coffee in the break room with specialty creamers and also to get down, there's some dessert cookies to kind of join in. And of course, I think all of you, everybody smelled the popcorn here. So anyway, thank you guys for coming. We got a lot of things in there for sale, as you guys know, silent auctions. We got a door prize with a Cracker Barrel rocker and a 50 inch Samsung TV. And then we got a lot of items for sale. So thank you, we're gonna have an eventful day. Thank you, Sue.
I'm going to try to figure out a name for my horse. The horse with no name? I've been in the desert before. Tom Hattie. We've had it. Thank you. You're welcome. I think that's a good song. I think we're going to go write one. Okay. Yeah, we go we're here at the drum set and I noticed that the band is called the Surf Cats I cannot pay. welcome everybody I'm glad you came out we really need to support the museum and uh, help them in this time of need you might say because of this terrible event <laughs> Tyson. I'm a docent at the excuse me, California San California Route 66 Museum. Okay, and we're in Victorville. We're in Victorville, California, down uh, next to the Transportation Center on D Street. Okay, um, something special going on here today. What's going on today? Uh, today we're having a fundraiser for the uh, break-in that we had several weeks ago. Uh, a person broke into our museum, did $30,000 worth of damage, and today we're trying to have a fundraiser to raise money to offset the cost of the insurance policies. Okay, you've already had a pretty good response from people from all over the place. Can you tell me about that? We've had remarkable response from car clubs across the country, plus other Route 66 Museum. And we also had personal people who remained anonymous to gave, gave us donations. Okay, and uh, what's that, uh, how's that make you feel that uh, people care like that? Extremely happy. Being a New Yorker, it's very seldom you get to see a community or half a country come together to, have, uh, to donate their time, money, and expertise to help repair a community product such as the Route 66 Museum. Okay, when there was the break-in, I hear there's actually been two. Uh, what, what, what did your heart feel like? Or what, what did you think when, that, when you found out about that? I was extremely upset about it because this is my home away from home. Being a retiree, this is where I come down and meet people from around the world. And I enjoy being down here, and so do the other docents that are with us. We have a docent uh, fleet of about 12 people that run the museum year-round, and we're here every day of the week except for Tuesday and Wednesdays. Okay. Uh, tell me about this particular museum. What, what's special about the Victorville Route 66 Museum? Uh, we concentrate primarily between San Bernardino and Barstow, and we try to maintain the history of the air, local area. We have, such as the exhibit behind me at Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. They were local residents in Apple Valley and Victorville. We also have uh, stories about Victorville itself. From 1860 up until right after World War II, we have pictures in the Victorville room. We have a 1917 Model T that people love to sit in and take pictures. And we also have the front end of a 1966 VW microbus, and we call it the time machine because we have the wig, the wigs, the glasses, to make you feel like a hippie. <laughs> and what reaction do you get uh, from your your visitors uh, as they come in here? Most of them, uh, they're amazed, uh, such as myself when I first walked into the museum. Uh, as I said, I'm from New York City. I thought Route 66 was nothing more than a TV show than to actually come out to California and find out that it's a real road that exists from St. Louis to Santa Monica. So a lot of kids, uh, when they come in here, a lot of the items they've never seen, such as a phonograph with an AM radio in it, or an 8-track player, something of people of my generation we used to seeing. I even had a young lady ask me, how did I survive? And I felt like Fred Flintstone, I was going to go out to my car and pedal home in my Flintstone mobile. <laughs> <laughs> and um, 
would you say what's the mixture of uh, locals? I mean, uh, 50 mile people or, and people from far away. We have a, a vast majority of people from all over the world, and we have people from around the United States that come in and see our museum. Uh, we have people come in from as far away as Russia, China, Taiwan, uh, the Galapagos Islands, and uh, all over, from all over Europe. They come in to see uh, and travel Route 66, either by renting motorcycles from Chicago to Los Angeles, or by renting a car and traveling the same route. A lot of the Europeans, they have heard of the lure of the Route 66 legend, and they want to have a uh, sense of peace of it and travel on the road of uh, road of dreams, as it was called, or the mother road. Okay, anything else that, um, about the place, about the event today, anything that's on your mind that uh, you just like to add? Today, um, I feel extremely proud of the people who came in to volunteer their time and their abilities. We have a band that uh, volunteered their time and several other people that came in right off the street and said, we'd like to help. So that, that made me feel extremely good. It felt like I was back in the military community again. Okay. Your name one more time. My name is Lou Tyson. Spelled last name. T-Y-S-O-N. And your position with the museum again? I'm a docent and I'm also a, a board member on the uh, Route 66 Museum. Thank you very much. Thank you. going through photo albums and trying to get something from all the errors and stuff that they were there.